In this video, we'll be going over arithmetic sequences. Arithmetic sequences are sequences in which the difference between consecutive terms is constant. Let's consider the two following sequences and try to determine whether each one is arithmetic or not. For this first arithmetic sequence, to go from 1 to 3, you need to add 2. And then to go from 3 to 7, you need to add 4. And to go from 7 to 10, you need to add 3. Because the difference between consecutive terms is changing, this sequence is not an arithmetic sequence. But for the second sequence, note that to get from 1 to 5, you have to add 4. And then to get from 5 to 9, you have to add 4 as well. And the same thing is true to get from 9 to 13. And because the difference between terms is staying constant at 4, this sequence is an arithmetic sequence. arithmetic sequences can be written using the following form, where a1 represents the first term in the sequence, and d represents the common difference between consecutive terms. So for the arithmetic sequence that begins with 1, 5, 9, and 13, a1 would be 1, and d would be 4. Now to find the nth term, a sub n, in an arithmetic sequence, you can use the formula a sub n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 times d. And to understand where this formula really comes from, let's look back at the general form for an arithmetic sequence. Note that to get the second term in this sequence, we take the first term, a sub 1, and add the common difference d to it once. To get the third term in the sequence, we take the first term and add the common difference to it two times. And so to get the nth term of an arithmetic sequence, we would take the first term, a sub 1, and add the common difference d to it n minus 1 times. Okay, now let's put this formula to use with the following problem. Find the 14th term in the arithmetic sequence, 2, 5, 8, 11, and so on. We are looking for the 14th term, a sub 14, in the sequence. And so n, in the formula, is going to be equal to 14. a1, a1, is just the first term in the sequence, and so it's 2. And given that this is an arithmetic sequence, the common difference d is just the difference between any pair of consecutive terms in the sequence. So if we just look at the first two terms, we can see that the common difference will be 5 minus 2, or 3. And so now we need to plug this information into our formula, and we get that a sub 14 is equal to... 2 plus 14 minus 1 times 3, which is equal to 2 plus 13 times 3, which is 2 plus 39, or 41. And so the 14th term in this arithmetic sequence is 41. Now let's consider the slightly more difficult problem. Given that the 5th term in the arithmetic sequence is 14, and that the 8th term is 20, find the first term in the arithmetic sequence. We can actually apply the formula to find the nth term of an arithmetic sequence here, but this time we're going to be solving for a sub 1 instead of a sub n. I'm going to choose n as being equal to 5 for this formula, but you can also say that n is equal to 8, and as long as you stay consistent, you'll get the same answer. So we know that a sub 5 equals a sub 1 plus 5 minus 1, or 4, times d. The problem tells us that a sub 5 is 14, so 14 is equal to a sub 1 plus 4 times d. We now have two unknowns, a1 and d, and we can actually find out what d is. To get from the 5th to the 8th term, you need to add the common difference 3 times. And if adding the common difference 3 times corresponds to a jump of 6 from 14 to 20, then 3d must be equal to 6, which means that d, the common difference, is equal to 2. And returning to the formula, we get that 14 is equal to a sub 1 plus 4 times 2. And so a1, the first term in this arithmetic sequence, is equal to 14 minus 8, or 6. The last topic I want to go over in this video is how to find the sum of the first n terms in an arithmetic sequence. The formula for the sum, which I'm going to call s sub n, is n over 2 times a1 plus a sub n. Let's consider the arithmetic series 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, and so on. And let's try to find the sum of the first six terms, which we know is s sub 6. 
While summing up the numbers manually in this case might be easier since there aren't that many, let's do this problem using the formula for s sub n so we can better understand why it works. Notice that the first and sixth term in this series sum up to 23, as do the second and fifth terms and the third and fourth terms. n is equal to 6, and so essentially what we have for s sub 6 is 3 or 6 over 2 pairs of terms that sum up to 23, which is a1 plus a n or a1 plus a6 in this case. And so the sum of the first six terms is 69. This formula is a lot more useful, of course, when you're dealing with a lot more and a lot bigger numbers. And so let's do one more problem just to reinforce this concept. Given that the first term in the arithmetic sequence is equal to four, and that the common difference is four as well, find the sum of the first 14 terms of the arithmetic sequence. We are looking for s sub 14 here, and we know that n is equal to 14, and that a sub one, the first term in the arithmetic sequence is equal to four. And plugging these values into our equation, we get that s sub 14 is equal to n over two, or 14 over two, times a one, which we know is four, plus a sub 14. From the formula we went over earlier in this video, we know that a sub n is equal to a one plus n minus one times d, and so a sub 14 is equal to four plus 14 minus one, or 13 times d, which the problem tells us is four. Four plus 13 times four is equal to four plus 52. So a sub 14 is 56. This means that s sub 14 is seven times four plus 56, which is equal to seven times 60. And so the sum of the first 14 terms of this arithmetic sequence is 420.